Hi, I'm Dennis Voles. I'm a designer for Woodsmith Magazine. If your shop is anything like mine, you probably have drill bits and drill accessories scattered everywhere. Well, that's the case with me, and so I thought that I would come up with a solution for that. And what I did was came up with this drill bit cabinet that you see here. Now, although it's sitting on a bench, it's really designed to be hung on a wall. But it still comes in two parts. So you have an upper cabinet and a lower cabinet, and they hang with French cleats, which I'll talk about in a few minutes. First of all, let me talk first about the lower cabinet. This is designed so that you can put several different sizes of drawers in there and have them all fit properly. Uh, we've got one that's about four and a half inches, three inches, inch and a half, another inch and a half, but you could put two three inches in here or two four and a half inches and they would fit fine. Another thing that's interesting about this, these drawers is that the runners on each side are actually part of the bottom of the drawer, which is very strong. I've used this for other designs in the past and it works really well. So it also gives you a lot of extra space inside of a drawer since you're not using something like hardware or some kind of a runner inside there. As I mentioned before, the cabinets are hung with French cleats and so are the fixtures that hold all the drill bits and accessories inside. And if you're not sure what I mean by a French cleat, let me show you. So here's an example. This is a small one and the ones that hang it are much larger, of course. But basically, it's two pieces of wood that are cut at a 45 degree angle. One is hung on the wall, in this case, the inside of the door, and the other is put on the fixture that you want to hang. They're very strong, and they're very hard to knock anything off. Another thing you'll notice about these French cleats inside the cabinet are that there are some metal bars in here. These are actually magnets, rare earth magnets. Now you may be tempted to use something like this magnetic tape, flexible tape, which you can get in a lot of different places, but I found that it just isn't strong enough. These magnets that are here, the rare earth type, are strong enough to hold a pretty heavy bit. In fact, I was able to get a half inch drill bit to hang just from those, those magnets. The way they're mounted is that you just cut a groove into the French cleat and then uh, press fit those bar magnets in there. They hold really well. Of course, we gave you some examples of how many uh, different kinds of drill bits that you can organize in here and some fixtures to hold those. The nice thing about all of this is that it's really flexible. So one other thing before I finish, I just wanted to show you a few drill accessories that I find really useful. So I'm gonna start with a countersink. Now if you've never seen one of these before, it's pretty unusual and you probably wouldn't even recognize it as a countersink. But it does a really nice job of giving you a smooth countersink inside a hole that's already existing. You're probably used to the kind that are mostly used for metal. And actually those are the wrong angle for wood screws. But generally that's what people use because that's what they find at the local hardware store. And those are okay if you start with a fluted countersink before you drill the hole. These are better if you've already drilled the hole. This one is probably something that you've seen before. It's a bit that's specially designed to drill holes centered in the holes of a set of hinges. And as you drill, the centering part retracts and the drill drills the hole for you. This is probably something that you've seen before, but it's still one of my favorites. It saves me a step. It's a, a drill bit that has a countersink already attached to it. But my favorite of all is what's called a 90 degree angle adapter. So let me show you how that works. This is one that goes into a hand drill. And so once you've chucked it into the drill, you put your drill bit or your driver bit into there and turn it on. And this allows you to get into really tight spaces, drill holes, drive screws, do all kinds of different things. This particular one has a handle that allows you to adjust however you want to hold it to give you a little bit of extra 
guidance and, um, and firmness. So those are my favorites. You probably have some of your own. I'd like you to share those with us. Let us know if you have any questions while you're building this or before you build it. And just drop us a line anytime. Thank you. <music>